What is your focus? In Jesus' mighty name. I got a shirt on that says Jesus Calling. It's got a green button. You know how on iPhone and Android and most phones, the green button means accept. Just like a traffic light means go. And the red light means stop. And it says on my shirt, accept or decline. Green and red. All right? And so what's our focus? Is it just, oh my gosh, end of the world, end of the world, rapture, rapture, get ready now, he's coming tomorrow. And I don't mean to mock you guys because I am not one of those people in the scriptures that is mocking the signs of his coming. because mockers and scoffers will come. I know Jesus Christ is coming soon. A thousand years is as a day, and a day is as just a little piece of air. It's nothing in relation to eternity, right? We're just but a mist and a vapor. So it's okay to tell people that Jesus Christ is coming soon and to wake people up. Absolutely. Um, but what's your focus? That's what's on my heart. What is your focus today? Is it the gospel? And getting it to people? Or is it telling the Christian church over and over and over and over and over again that Jesus is coming soon? Because we know that Jesus is coming soon, and I don't want you to take a... Please don't take offense to this. Because I know He's coming soon, too. I can feel it in my bones. But we don't know if that's years from now. We don't. And to say that we do would be very prideful and foolish, to be honest. Because we know the season, but not the exact day or hour. And it's really unwise to get to get so caught up in that that that's all you talk about. Because this should be the focus. Get about 400, 500 gospel tracks here. I know he's coming soon, but what's the focus? You should be getting the gospel out, man. In grocery stores, talking to people about Jesus, giving your testimony, things of that nature. That needs to be the focus in Jesus' mighty name. That being said, yes, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Don't know how soon exactly, but let's be ready. Let's not entertain our flesh at all or go back to the world at all in any way. If you've done that, there is absolutely a chance for you to come back. Today is the day of salvation. In Jesus' holy name, cry out to him with a humble and pure and sincere heart. Ask him to deliver you from all unclean spirits. It may be wise to fast. You can message me if you want more information about fasting. My personal experiences with that, I would just advise you to start small, work your way up, and trust the Lord Jesus Christ in the process. And uh, let's truly give our lives to him and put away our sin. So many people operating in the gifts of God, not, not preaching repentance anymore. Notice that I'm preaching it in gentleness. I'm not coming at you with four jabs and a right hook. Because <laughs> God is quick to forgive, but you need to come to him now when you hear his voice. If you hear his voice. But if you're just dancing and playing around and knowing that you're walking on coals... And playing around. It's time for you to repent as well. Otherwise. The Lord's going to chastise you in a way that you don't want him to chastise you. To get your attention. If you still don't listen to that. And his chastisements. That's on you. He's extending his love and his grace right now to all of us. And we need to answer that call. But we need to realign our focus, man. We really need to realign our focus and get the gospel out there.
I've got a couple of websites I can give you guys that's got the gospel free that you can give to people in Jesus' name. Stay encouraged, stay blessed, declare that peace and portion, excuse me, declare that peace and joy be your portion, no matter what you're feeling right now. In Jesus' mighty name, call on the Holy Spirit, ask Him to become more one with you in all ways, and He shall. Stay close to the Holy Spirit. I love you guys in Jesus' name.